it has been two to three years since I started my YouTube channel and when I originally started I had a series called Black Girl Book Club. I haven't done that series in a really long time and one of my goals for the year was to bring that series back. So here we are. Roll the clip. guys welcome back to the coffee cream girl channel i hope you guys didn't miss me too much if you have been um a latte for a long time if you've been watching my youtube channel since i've started it then you guys know that like i said originally i used to do black girl book club and i really just like the environment of being able to um like suggest books to other girls and girls giving me good books to read and so one of my new year's resolutions or something new that i wanted to do um in 2018 or not new but just something that i stopped doing that i wanted to pick back up was reading more avidly because i enjoy books i enjoy reading i've done two books already if you haven't i'm gonna make sure that i link the previous books that i reviewed which is gentlewoman and loveology down in the description box below if you want to see my review on those so yeah i'm bringing the series back i know it's been like there's a couple of videos where i'm saying like i'm gonna do black girl book club i'm gonna do black girl book club but i just never uh, i never had a book i never took the time to even try to find a book or to read and so i'm really trying to be on top of myself so my goal for 2018 as far as the black girl book club is to read 12 books obviously so 12 months 12 books a book a month is pretty much the goal um this is my january book so this review is going up a little later than it's supposed to be my goal is to have them up at the end of each month the review for the book but um i wanted to make sure that when i brought the series back onto my channel that i did it the right way and i did it um to the best of the ability that i can do now all that talking all that talking let's get into the book okay the january book of the month was oh that's embarrassing the book of the month is making good habits breaking bad habits this book is by joyce meyer i'm gonna do it a little differently than how i used to do my older reviews but it's still gonna be the same structure so we're gonna start off with book stats okay so the title of this book making good habits and breaking bad habits this book is by joyce meyer it is a christian book she is a christian author this book has 190 pages the font size of the book to be medium it's 17 chapters and the chapters are about i want to say somewhere between 10 to 15 pages per chapter but yeah it's not a very long book it's not a hard read um and it's definitely a really dope way um, to discover Bible verses and to kind of almost do it in a sense of a devotional if you want to do each chapter as a devotional you could definitely do that with this book the book review with the name of the book being making good habits and breaking bad habits um the general my general synopsis of the book um it's pretty much just covering I mean making good habits and breaking bad habits is it's actually really very very straightforward to the point the author kind of just starts off with you know what are habits and how do we get into the formation of habits and good habits and bad habits it's really crazy to me crazy little backstory about this book i wanted to do black girls book club my friend from from school gave me this book a while back they gave me this book i want to say in 2015 and i had never i never picked it up and i just never read it so when i got home and i'm like okay i want to do black girls book club i didn't really have the money to buy a book but this was a book that i still had in my closet that i hadn't read yet that my friend gave me and i opened the book and it's a message they wrote me a note and it says it says two wheels which is me um you're a good woman and believe it or not god has a plan for you but the only way you will ever be able to be used is to first love yourself and then break bad habits hopefully this book will give you what you're looking for god has a plan for you that spoke into my life because it was just so crazy that i started reading this book on new year's and i had never picked it up in two years so i didn't even know that they wrote me a note in it but definitely 
was a dope way to start off the book with a personal message from somebody that gave me gave it to me so the chapter is pretty much covered outside of the first four chapters so like i said it's seven it's a 17 chapter book not including the introduction and the summary but the first four chapters are really kind of just diving into what are habits and how do you get into the habit of breaking habits it's not easy it takes discipline and it's not going to be the most fun thing especially if you're a college student who struggles with like procrastination like i really do um or you know like spending financial habits like i mean any type of habit that you have i feel like this book really covers and the generals and just giving you the tools that you need to apply in order to break bad habits i genuinely want to say that i felt attacked like literally shaking the table by this book by every chapter that i challenged myself to read and it was crazy that every time that i did put the book down for an extended amount of time for maybe a day or two some circumstance would come that when I read the book again, it was exactly on the chapter that I needed. And it was so, it's really so crazy to me. But it really, it really dives in into things like the habit of excellence, the habit of giving. And I really like how, as it's a Christian read, it starts off with the God habit and really talking about how you have to structure everything in your life around God. You know, that's your first habit. He is our strength. He's our provider. And in order to believe that you're strong enough to break yourself of any addiction or habit that you might have, you have to understand that your strength cannot be in your flesh because your flesh is it's not strong enough to fight off the demons that we have every day and the struggles that we have as people. But God's strength is endless. And if we're using that as our source of strength, then we have all the strength that we need to be the person that we want to be and to break the habits that we want to break and more importantly, create the habits that we want to create. And I really like this book because it really made a foundation. It's not about, in a sense, breaking a habit, but it's replacing a habit. Does that make sense? If you're somebody who drinks soda a lot, then you're not trying to, by breaking the habit of soda, you're not just trying to, I just don't want to drink soda anymore. You're trying to replace that habit with a good habit. And really just talking about, you know, it takes about 30 days to do a habit. So my challenge was is that I wrote down everything or all of the habits that I have as an individual that I would like to be free from, that I would want to break, that I don't want to continue to do with my life anymore. And I made that list. And so my goal was is for every month, there's going to be one habit that I'm really, really trying to break. So for January, my biggest thing that I wanted to break was the amount of soda that I drink, which I actually did really good on. I'm teetering, teetering back into it, but I'm, like, I'm really trying to monitor myself. I keep water in my room. I've been drinking way more water than I ever have in my whole life in the last month. I promise you I have. But really just focusing on trying to replace each habit that I have with something better. Really just working on every single one thing every single month for consistently and really, really being persistent at it. I really, like I said, I really like this book's approach to not in a sense focusing on get rid of this thing in your life, but replace it with what it is that you want your life to consist of. Um, I really like the fact that it affirms some of the things that I already do in my personal life as far as the power of words and what you say um, and how that goes into your habit. I want to say a really good example that I like from the book is just saying if you consistently say you don't want to do something, you're building connections in your mind that almost make you resent doing it. And I never really understood the power of I understood the power of words in a sense of talking to people, but I don't think I ever really took the time to self-reflect at myself and say, how often do I say I don't want to do something? And why have I never equated it to the reason why I didn't do it? And I never understood, but looking back into my college experiences, I'm really looking at myself like it were so many times that I would sit in the bed and say, I really don't feel like getting up and doing this homework. I really don't feel like getting up and doing this. And it would almost give me a personal sense of resentment or hate for whatever it is that I had to do, which the book even talks about. That's the creation of procrastination is, um, you know, if you're a really bad procrastinator, it might be because of what you're saying. You're making yourself personally hate it. But it also talked about, you know, like being prepared, being able to put yourself, how to better put yourself in situations to succeed. My water habit for January, I noticed she was talking about, it talked about this in the book, but just in my personal life, like if you keep water around, it's way easier to drink. Like that's period point blank. And I never realized like maybe the reason that I'm not drinking water is because I don't make water the most easily accessible thing to me. So I did notice that like keeping water in my room would keep me at night whenever I get like super, super thirsty. I'll like just drink water because it's right here and I don't feel like going to the kitchen, which could be a habit of laziness. But I guess those two work together. We'll never really know. One of my favorite chapters of the book that I want to make sure that I highlight is when she's talking about the now habit. Um, and with me being like an avid 
procrastinist specialist it's kind of what I do you know um that chapter really just spoke to me like I can't even tell you that chapter is talking about the now habit and excellence that literally poured into my soul because it was really just talking about if you need to get something done just do it like and that sounds so cliche and it sounds so easy and so simple but just think about for all the time that you're not doing something you could have already done it does that make sense like let's say you have a week to do a homework assignment your speaking word is like oh i don't want to do it I, i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it tomorrow next thing you know you look up and the whole week is gone and you haven't done anything when you really could have went to the library the day that you got the assignment did a little then did a little the next day and uh, did a little the third day and then had the whole four days or you could have bust out the assignment in one day when you first got it and had all of that time to critique it or take it to your professor but you wait until the last minute it's not preparing yourself to have the excellence habit which is another habit that the book talks about as far as doing the best that you can in every single element of your life that you can i really do like the now habit um the habit of excellence and things like that because it really just teaches you that you don't have to be the best at something to be the best you, if that makes sense. Okay, prime example in my personal life. I don't feel like I'm the best YouTuber, right? I see content and I see videos and I see photos and I see, you know, influencers that are so much better than me. But that doesn't mean that I can't create now. And I reach the number of subscribers that I, that's my goal that I want to have. I want them to be so engaged in the consistency and quality of my content. And that comes from creating now that comes from me using what i already have and critiquing that and making those those decisions of okay do i like this lens do i like this lighting do i like this setup do i like this that and the other but if i keep waiting if i keep procrastinating well i don't want to do it until i get this or i don't want to do it until i get that then even when i get all that stuff i'm not going to know what i'm doing so i really like how this book kind of just it really poured into me it challenged me mentally like i said i really feel felt attacked like if you go onto my twitter but i mean if you've been if you follow me which i be telling y'all to follow me social media links you should follow me i mean you here you might as well um i feel like uh, i was talking about how every, like literally every time i open this book i will put it on snapchat or twitter like this book is attacking me and it made me realize all of the bad habits that i had are because of me and because of the decisions that i'm making and since i'm the one making the decisions i'm the one who's in control of my life so when i want to get in accordance with god and myself and his plan for me it's on me you know and i don't think that we put enough responsibility which is another habit that the book talks about we don't put enough responsibility on ourselves we make it seem like oh well when i get this or when this happens or when something else in the world occurs that should directly affect me no you affect you you are the person who decides whether or not you do your assignment early or the day before you're the person who decides whether or not you consistently get up and go to the gym or not you know what I'm saying? Like when people get into their old ways and their habits, it is a personal decision that you made. If your goal is to drink water, like I keep going back to that, but if your goal is to drink water, you are the one choosing not water. You're the one going to the restaurant, ordering something, knowing that you're trying to drink water. You're the one going to the store, putting something in your cart that is not water. You're the one who is opening this bottle or opening the can. You're It's in your hands. There's no other person or any other entity that's responsible for that but you. And you have to make those conscious decisions every day. One thing that I really want to pour into my lattes, my, my subbies, the people who watch my content, is just like make the decisions that you want to make that better yourself period like don't allow for what you can and cannot do now to affect what you are doing and let me go it says procrastination is a thief it steals our time our potential our self-esteem our peace of mind it is like a lullaby that whispers go to sleep everything will be fine but everything will not be fine if we put off doing what we need to do and the task isn't going to get done by itself it's not going anywhere procrastination is very deceptive and we can only conquer it by becoming what I call the now person. Be aggressive when you know you need to do something. Don't put it off and keep putting it off. Just do it. If you didn't just personally feel attacked, she's talking to you. She was talking to me. She's talking to us, sis. She's talking to us. She's talking to us. Mm-hmm. Us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's attacking. Mm -hmm. This book has like a lot of quotes, a lot of, it, I like the fact that it has a really good balance of Bible verses and general quotes from like public phys figures, like it has um, some Turkish proverbs in it, it has like 
uh, quotes from unknowns it has quotes from like old presidents and stuff like that so I like how she kind of incorporated um, people's not only God's view of it but people who have success in the real world's um, same same ideals um, as God and the book itself so one of the quotes in the book um, from one of the chapters is Theodore Roosevelt and I really like it it's talking about being like the habit of being an indecisive person and even in being a decisive person she really talks about being someone who is a good like a person who takes an adequate amount of time looks at the pros and cons of each side and comes to a decision um, and talks about how you know not every decision that you make on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be specifically covered in the word of God because there's like you know there's general things that aren't specifically covered like oh this is Christianity like you know like basic things like should I go here or should I not go there should I do this should I not do that and not in a like good versus evil way but just in a like a option A and a option B like no option is really better or worse than the other but just deciding on what's better than you but the quote from Theodore Roosevelt is in any moment of decision the best thing you can do is the right thing the next best thing you can do is the wrong thing the worst thing you can do is nothing attacked we're being attacked sis literally this book is a shooter it's coming at your head I swear so retail price this book is extremely affordable this book retails on Amazon for 13 dollars and 27 cents which is not a lot for a book um I would definitely suggest it um I put on my Twitter I suggest it for anybody who wants to break a habit period but I definitely suggest this for college students who study with maybe procrastination or um just scheduling or just positivity whatever specific habit that you have at school I promise you this book is probably gonna cover it like I want to say that this book probably covers every problem that you could possibly have from like a to y i'm gonna leave space like let z be like the little one percent but it covers in general a lot a lot of topics and a lot of habits that people have i really like the format of each chapter in the book past chapter four because it really talks about whatever the habits whatever the specific habit is um it starts off with what is this habit you know what is it it gives you a really good breakdown of what it is the benefits of having it and and how um, it affects your everyday life and then after that she kind of breaks down into paragraph type portions how you go about creating that habit and some of the things in the book I really don't struggle with and some of the things I struggle with a lot so I really like the fact that sometimes I'll read a chapter and I wouldn't personally feel a tech like it was a chapter talking about the habit of generosity and I'm I think I'm a pretty generous person like I don't really struggle with giving people stuff or giving people what I have it's not something that I specifically have I've never really just been a super stingy person because I know what it feels like to not have something and I don't like that feeling so I don't like other people to have that feeling but it was other things like like I said procrastination the habit of excellence um and things like that that I was like sis are you coming for me like do you know me personally like in my personal life like are you watching me live and you're just really just trying to talk about me right now on the scale okay so this is new this is new this is suggested by my mom she you know she gave me she gave me a little tip you know we're gonna do a rating from now on my rating of the books it's gonna be a five star rating scale but you know me I'm coffee cream girl you know I gotta have a little a little sizzle a little a little some some to it so we're gonna do a coffee rating of every book that I do on my channel so a strong five you know the strongest coffee you can possibly have that's gonna be an espresso okay and then we're gonna have mm, four out of five you know it was good it wasn't just punching me in the face but I definitely enjoyed the read that's gonna be my mocha if it was uh, it was cool it was in the middle you know that's gonna be my latte if it was it was kind of weak like you know it was sweet it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't that interesting I ain't really enjoy it but you know whatever I'm not I'm not just tripping off of it that's gonna be my cappuccino and if the book is if the book just what why why did I read that Lord clear my eyes no I don't want to know I don't I don't want this no it's gonna be a skinny so scale from one to five we got skinny we got cappuccino we got latte we got mocha and we got espresso we got espresso down here you feel me this book is an espresso coffee rating espresso for sure this book is gonna hit you in the head it's gonna pop you miss mrs. pop out with that fofo for real okay so I would definitely suggest it I'm going to put a link to Amazon if you guys want to buy this book 
for yourself um if you have any other questions about the book then feel free to leave comments down below and i'll try to reply to them if you guys decide to get this book please 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 use the hashtag black girl book club on twitter or on instagram so i can see it so i can like it so i can comment it because i love when girls get books that i suggest i swear i do i swear it makes my heart glisten so <laughs> make sure that you use the hashtag black girl book club if you have a book suggestion and want to leave it to me use that hashtag girl you in the book club now <laughs> february 2018 black girl book club book of the month is black privilege by charlamagne you know it's black history month so your girl had to get a black author i've heard super good things about this book my friends are reading it i've seen a lot of people on twitter reading it i've seen good reviews i've seen bad reviews i've seen funny parts of it but i'm super excited to crack this book open so i can't wait to review it for you guys don't forget to leave a comment down below talk to me nice like this video if you enjoyed the content subscribe to the copy cream girl channel so that you don't miss new uploads book reviews and all types of content that i post on my channel and don't forget to follow me on my social media outlets twitter and instagram coffee cream girl i'll make sure that i put the links to my social pages in the description box below and my snapchat is at a yo wheels yeah make sure that you hit me up i love talking to you guys about the stuff that i do so yeah i'm gonna see you guys on the next coffee cream girl video bye your wallet your skin should be soft and you should be walking around the house smelling like vanilla sis you should be in your living your best Life, living your best life.